Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ben, and today we're playing an adventure game called The Blackwell Convergence. Okay, so we've got a, uh... Oh, Hello? Okay. Hello? Anybody there? You're really expecting an answer. I was just checking. Okay, now... Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. Ah... Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go through the tutorial. Go to the tutorial, okay. Where is she? Let's try and get her inside. Left-click button... I'll click on the door. Okay. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Alan Riken of Riken Publishing and Supply was found dead yesterday afternoon. Witnesses saw uh, Riken fall from a great height, landing on the sidewalk outside of his office building at 354 West 80th Street. Officers at the scene ruled the death a suicide. Hmm. Okay. Found an obituary for an Alan Riken who committed suicide. His body was out found outside this building. Take the sheet down if we can. Oh. Hello. Oh, Joey. Yeah. I think I found it. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. <laughs> what are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. Yes, I am going to leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. All right, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. All right. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. Uh, I'm here to help. Help? <laughs> Why would you want to help me? You just seem like a guy who could use some. You don't know anything about me. Well, let's change that. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Don't come any closer. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. Hmm. The ghost on the ledge of an empty high-rise office. He's threatening to jump. <sighs> um, I think this might be too little too late. What do you mean? I mean you can't kill yourself. You're already dead. What? I said you're already dead. That's... sick. You're insane. Get off my ledge. Hmm. Hey, let's get out of this rain. What rain? Um, this rain? Take a look around. It's pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't feel any rain. That's because... Ah, forget it. Hmm. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while, you might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no, just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem strange? Out of place or off kilter? No. You don't remember falling? Falling? No! Of course not! I came out here and stayed! I haven't jumped yet. Right, right. Never mind. Hmm, I don't have anything else to ask about. Surely things can't be all that okay. bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? 
To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. Uh, nice view, huh? Jay. Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. Okay. So That's what happened, happen. Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were friends. Even Sandra. Sandra? My wife. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. I'm pushing 50, overweight, and not to mention broke! What woman would want me? Hey, you like redheads? Huh? It's a simple question. Do you like redheads? Sure, I guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. <laughs> you do? Sure, she's inside. Want to meet her? Is this a trick? <laughs> of course not. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. There she is. Go on, introduce yourself. She's kind of young for me, isn't she? Don't let that stop you. What are you doing? <laughs> Go on, Tiger. She's waiting. So, you've been asking about me. Oh, um, sure. Really? <laughs> Why? Well, uh... <sighs> You seem like a nice guy. A nice guy. Sure. Let me tell you something, lady. Women don't like nice guys. What's your angle? You're not interested in me. Wait. I'm wasting my time. Thanks for trying, but this isn't going to work. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Did you just try to set me up? Just call me Matchmaker Malone. I'm not seducing a ghost. You don't have to go all the way. N-O spells no. Okay, so... We're gonna need to go back out there and a talk spook to him. On a Now I've... I'm gonna take another crap. Okay. Okay. Hey, Alan. Oh. So you ran your business... Well... Yeah, I guess. And I thought you were a... I am. Not anymore, you're not. No, I'm not. Hmm. You're just a little man with a big office and a view he doesn't deserve. And you're way too old and tired to start over. Yeah. What's the point? Uh... You know, you're right. I can't think of any woman who would be attracted to you. You really think so? Sorry, pal. That's the way I see it. I always thought that. But to hear someone else say it, it hits very close to home. I think I understand ah, what he's doing. Man, this is cruel, even for me. One more blow to his ego and he's bound to go over the edge. Do I really want to save him this way? Hey, your wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Well... All right. There she is. That's my wife? That's Sandra? Wife? Sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. Go on, talk to her. Sandra? Is that really you? Uh, sure. Sure, it's me. I'm Sandra. Why are you here, Sandra? Well, uh... I, uh, 
made a mistake, Alan. I shouldn't have left you. A mistake? Why should I trust you now, Sandra? After you left and sick lawyers on me, taking what little I had left. Mm. You destroyed me, Sandra. If I jump, it'll be your fault. Mm. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Way to go. I've never been. I'm gonna. Okay. Okay, well. So hey, I've either yeah. gotta do oh. that over again. So your yeah. wife left you, huh? Yeah. Figures. What? Look at yourself. Everyone knows that if a ship is sinking, you abandon it. I can't blame her for leaving. Anybody would. That's... That's... <sighs> Completely true. I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, I think you do. I do? You're looking right down at it. You're right. You're so right. It's over. It's... This is it. Huh? Oh. I've been here before. I'm sorry. But it was an accident. I wasn't really going to jump. I was going to go back in. It's too late now. I slipped and fell. I didn't want to jump. Mm. I remember. I remember falling. Wishing I had a second chance. But maybe... Maybe it's for the best. I didn't have much to live for anyway. I'm sorry, pal. So what now? I haunt this ledge forever? No, I'm here to help you move on. Just come inside with me. Okay. Are you ready, Alan? I guess. Let's get this over with. Just take a hold of this. All right. Okay, do it. Hmm, I can't help but think we could have handled that better. <laughs> okay, Watch your Eye Games presents. Not our best work, but we got him in the end. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. Where would I have written it? Those are fine where they are. No, I'm gonna look Just at a it. bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I kept them. I hated working there. 7 p.m. The Park Gallery with Nishanti. Oh, uh -huh. crap. What time is it? 7.15? Damn it! She's going to kill me! What's your problem? The gallery opening, don't you remember? She invited us to go. Us? All right, me. But you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? <laughs> We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. Whatever. Do what you like. It's not like I have a choice. I'm supposed to meet Ashanti at the park gallery. I have to find the address. I'm already late. My computer. It's not the latest. Here we go, the Park Gallery. It's on 18th Street by 10th Avenue. Uh, let's go and get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> 